all right guys so now i'm in the front so i am going to go ahead and plant one of my countries in this uh area in the front as well as in that triangle i already got my cardboard laid down and my pot my planter so i'm going to put my morning glories up there not my morning glories my moonflowers up there so let's get to it i think i'm going to do the moonflowers first so what i have over here i'm gonna bring you down in my little barrel i've already put some peat moss with the rest of the soil i had in there for the potatoes blood meal and bone meal so i'm going to give that a toss around and that peat moss is so fluffy but it's heavy because <laughs> it's contact compacted in that bag so I went ahead and put some up in here so I didn't have to pack the whole bag around here. So all I'm doing is blending in the bone meal and the um, blood meal. Now I'm going to put some topsoil up in here. <clears throat> Actually the rest of the topsoil. Um, this is just the, the dollar, dollar and something bag of top soil. And I'm aware that it has little fine sticks in it, twigs or whatever you want to call it. It's nothing super big. Right now, I've only seen like the size of mulch. And um, the sun that came out, the heat then came out, so I'm sweating. Sorry. So. I'm going to blend more with my hand because I find that it worked pretty good. Better than the shovel. So, that's pretty much what I'm going to put in that planter um, for the moonflower. And I used the planter that was a slightly broke <laughs> at the bottom have a bigger hole than I wanted it to be so here woodpecker so that's what I'm gonna do so follow along as I build this bucket this planter and as you can tell I am right-handed <laughs> so I'm always blocking the camera because I work better for my right side and I'm going to fill it up as high as I can even before I put the moon flowers because whew, I don't want to be covering the leaves up And I still have to water it down. That four is going to go down a little bit. Anyway, and I will add as necessary. So that is the, that's filled up. So while I'm over here with this shovel, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and dig the plant in the area for the comfrey. I chose the comfrey that's looking the funkiest are the ones I showed you before because like I said it is so ready to get out of the um, house so I'm going to dig this hole as deep as I can because this here is like straight like rocky that's why I don't understand how these weeds grow like they do because this is like terribly rocky
and this is not my first time over here digging either So I'm really hoping I get down in there really good. You can hear the rocks. But I definitely am trying to give it room for those roots to do what it's going to do. So, guys, everything we seem like love lady do is strenuous. And that's not by choice. <laughs> At all. So, I want to say that's going to be a good hole for it. Now, before I just drop the comfort in there, I am going to be a little respectful and put some of this music stuff in there. and then I really need to I don't know I'm going to go ahead and put this in so this is the one that I'm going to put and this is the smaller as far as leaves of them so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and remove them from out of here and put them in the the area that I dug hopefully you can see the hole that I built and just like with the potatoes I come back and water it I want to get this part out the way it's plenty so Comfort roots. I'm gonna sit, sit it down, and I'm gonna put some more good stuff around it. That's what I call my, my mixture. So I'm back filling the comfort. Now they never stayed outside before. <clears throat> this is going to be the first one. Um, and in the days to come, we're going to see how they're doing. Now I understand that they're going to take some shock at the beginning. So yeah. Then I don't know. If I want to put this here dirt here <laughs> back over, I mean, it's not bad dirt. I say dirt because this is soil I mended, but remember, it is rocks up in there. So I probably need to, to kind of put some old stuff back around it. You know, uh, like I said, we'll see how it does. I did plant it really, really deep. So, I don't know, guys. You think it's trial and error? And right now, Love Lady is just on it the best she can do for herself. Right now, the rest of this, I'm just going to just spread it out 
like I said, this this soil have been amended a couple of times, but I just can't get stuff to I don't know to grow like I need it to. So I don't know if I'm not planting the right stuff or not, but we will see how this country do. And see, this is we I know. I dug it before. Where is it coming from? Who knows? Sorry, I said we do whatever. So, there's no food up here outside of the country. So, I'm going to put a little more of the good stuff around it. Again, I'm just going to water it in. Now, I'm going to go ahead on and do the the moonflower. put all of these in the same pot. I've already watered the new flowers. So that's it for the moonflowers and the comfrey. <clears throat> Remember, I do have zinnias planted in the back, kind of cascading as a border to the where the comfrey should grow. And I'm going to top off the moonflowers a little more with some soil. And I just dipped up some of my, <laughs> my zinnias. Okay, so that's going to be it as far as uh, what I'm planting up here right now and stay tuned for upcoming videos if you like this content please hit like subscribe and share don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can always know when love lady gardening projects is loading up a new video
Sunday's work before I go back to work and I'm sweaty. I'm not done, but that's all, that's all I'm gonna do for this particular video. You may see me in the same outfit because I do have a lot to do, but stay tuned. Have a great day.